We got Rob Dukes outside. We yeah, should bring him in. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Yeah, we're just talking about the uh, article that the Washington Post did about Chevy Chase, and Will Ferrell said it was like the worst guest host that they ever had. Oh, yeah. is that what him and Will Ferrell don't like yeah. each other? Oh, okay. This I have really that too. Everybody hates me. There yeah. it is. It's yeah. you. There's one person that's infecting everyone. Exactly. And oh, they're the cancer. Right, you, exactly. You are. It's you, you dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been in bands, so I know that. That's right, where it. it's like one guy is the cancer, but he's convinced that, he's that another king. guy is telling everybody else, that, and they're all believing him. Yeah, pretty much. That's crazy. It sucks, too, because you're your point of view, and that's it. It's all you got. Right. And if you're not believed... Then, then you know what though the truth always rises to the surface somehow it always just it eventually does, the it person works itself himself out. almost never believes it exactly even though it does come up the person who is the asshole never buys but what's it. supposed yeah. to happen happens exactly right yeah. like the, 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 does the person ever learn their lesson maybe not yeah but Probably everybody not. ends up where they're supposed but karma to is a motherfucker it is it really is it really and is. when it shows up so you sometimes you sit back and you go Ah, you kind of had that common motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you got to play the long game. You got to play the long game. <laughs> what is your relationship like with your ex bandmates? Is it good or bad? Which bandmates? Exodus. Yeah, they're we're awesome now. I played with them um la, la, about a year ago. Oh, okay, we, I went out to San Francisco and played um a show with them. You know, they called me up. So, phone call was very awkward and weird. And then um when I flew out to San Francisco, we all sat down at a table and we talked. And because last time I was on a show, I called them douchebags, which they were, and they actually admitted, yeah, we were, we were, yeah, it was kind of fucked up what we did. But. Is that new guy, is that old guy who became the new guy still there? Yeah. And we worked it all out. It was all good, man. I had a blast. We went on stage. It was it was fucking awesome. And <laughs> Actually, he played on my on the new Generation Kill record. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. He's, he was in the middle of a Slayer tour and he took like, time off, went to a studio and did a solo for oh, us. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's it like when you have to perform? Because you, I mean, when a band doesn't get along, it's not like just instantly, it's like, okay, we're going to break up for a long time. What's it like you're when gonna, you have to perform with someone you hate? When you have to perform with them, even though you know, like, I just don't want to see your face. Who you I've never been in that situation. <laughs> Yeah, I've never you have been, not. No, I've been mad at people. <laughs> like we've argued and fought and been mad, right? A bunch, like a bunch of times, man. I remember one time they used to tour, right? And they would, I, I'm sober, and they would drink a bottle of Jaeger before going on stage. This was like years ago. This was like 2010. They would come out, you know, when you, the lights would come on, we'd fuck, rah, we'd come out, and they would fuck up the first song, and it was every single fucking night, and it would it would throw me off. And one night I got on the bus. I'm like, you fucking drunk fucks, man. Why can't you wait till at least start drinking after the first song? Then I don't give a fuck. But you're already drinking. A, you're already a bottle of Jaeger in. Yeah. Before we even start. And how would they fuck it up? Miss Cues? Just like it was like it's like this. Real, you know, music is so fast. It's so exacting. And if you get off a little bit, if somebody, if one person's off, we'll it kind of throws the whole thing off, and it's the timing gets fucked up. And when you're singing and someone's wrong. It just fucks everything. And up. you guys hear everything that the music, that the audience probably won't even notice. No. So yeah. Well, that, but we, like, so I only like in my monitor. I don't hear myself. All I hear is the snare and the kick, and sometimes a little guitar. If so, because like the song, the drummer stops and the guitar keeps going, and then they, everyone comes back in. So I only had that. Um, I didn't need to hear myself in the monitor because I sing so loud, I could hear it bouncing off the microphone, um, which is cool because doesn't allow, it doesn't uh, let feedback happen. This one night, they would just, it was like this. And then it, you have to just come in, and they would fuck it up every night. It just drove me crazy. Yeah. For like two weeks, I didn't say anything. And then one night, I walked up, I was like, you fuckers. And, and we just got in this screaming match, you know? And, and I'll That's never one of those forget. things that you just let it fester and yeah, fester until it it's totally, like, just it, fuck In you. each other's face. And, I, and, and, and it finally, man, it just, it, I just like, all right, I'm going to go to the back. Because I, I realized I'm dealing with a drunk at this point because right. he was drinking. I remember, okay, I need to leave the situation. So I just walked off the bus and went for a walk and then came back and, and went to sleep. It's got to be weird, though, when everybody else is mad at you, when you have a fight with I've all of them. I've had that, too. I've had that, too. No, really? Yeah. Do you get defensive or do you yeah. go like, you do? Fuck everybody, man. Right. Fuck you. And it wasn't even my fault, man. I was just fucking around. Like, I used to... I'm kind of like try to be a little bit lighthearted on stage and funny and the the amp had blown up and the tech was trying to change it in the middle of the song and we just stopped because it was useless it was it was a and I so I was just make, making fun of him a little bit and uh he got really bent now I had done this every night for like a year like this was going on like the same tech and that night he just got mad and he fucking wouldn't he wouldn't help me wouldn't change my mic and he wouldn't give me a water and shit I, <laughs> what I fucking, a dick I that's his job right? I, was, I was like I, I, I had him like stay you motherfucker and I was just I was so fucking mad he ruined the show it ruined my, my well, show what did he play. say so I left I just walked off the stage and I went to the bus now the, he had 
cornered the band and told them he's a fucking dick. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Ugh. And like for like three days, no one talked to me. Which wow. was awesome. Actually, it was kind of nice. I read a lot of books. <laughs> and, you, know, I, you know, just hung out by myself. But I had a, a tendency to do that anyway. But um, they were all mad at me. And then it all came to fruition that, oh, yeah, he's a drunken douchebag and you're not. Like it, there's a definitely a. a Why don't you just fire him? There. We actually did on the end of that tour. Because it, it, it just a culmination of shit like that was happening constantly. And, and eventually. How do you not change the mic? It yeah. ruined my show, man. I remember that was the one. The, I remember that distinctly. Like that whole, like, fuck that. It was in Ohio. I'll never forget it. it wow. Yeah, yeah, somebody not doing their job is really annoying. Just do what you said you were going to do, what you were hired to do. You used to work with DMC. Yeah, I talked to, I talked to him yesterday. Uh, we just, you know, talked. We, we did an album, and it, it came out. It went, it, you know, it kind of went nowhere, and then... <laughs> did it not go anywhere? It was fun to do it, and then we all just kind of like, all right, that was cool, let's go. And we went and went our separate and that's ways. that's Yeah, but it, we still talk, and right. you know, we talk about maybe doing stuff in the future. But I'm working on other stuff, man. I got a band out in Phoenix with a couple guys, a guy from Sacred Reich, and, and uh, this guy Chris Canella, and a couple guys from Dark Angel World. We're doing this band out there. And then I got Generation Kill, which is based in here in New York, in Phoenix, and we, um, we're we making a new record. And, and what are you promoting? Uh, I, I brought in a song, man, a new Generation Kill song, and I, I haven't aired it anywhere yet. Uh, just, oh. I just wanted to play it. it was, uh, well, I, let's, I send it to Travis. Do you, to break? do you want to go to break with it or close the show with it? Let's go to break with it because we'll we're talking to... about it now. We yeah. So you want to... Yes, we'll do that. We'll, and we'll play come back in the break Ward. and we'll have Mike Ward and... Uh, and, and hang. Yeah. yeah. So here's... Uh, what's the name of the song? The Rat King. The Rat the rat King. The Rat King. From Generation Kill. This is actually uh, uh, Conor McGregor's song. I was just thinking of that. Could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rat Fuck. We'll be right back. Infestation Rock with Disease Under the City they control the night While man sleeps They put their DNA On all man eats They brought a pandemic The black plague They take over at the end of days But for now they will wait By the time For the end of humankind The 
Mike Ward, Pantalis, and Rob Dukes. Do you guys Jim know Norton, Sam man, Roberts. Everybody's here. It's a party. So you keep uh-huh. yourself busy. I'm busy as fuck. Plus, I, I build cars too. Like I gotta. Oh wow. I build. Uh, I, I restore vintage Volkswagens. Can you restore it without losing integrity? Like, you yes. know, you restore it and it's just yeah. like, yeah, but this is basically a replica now. Well, basically, at that point, you, you'd have to replace most of the metal and the rust and cut it out. But you could just do all new panels and new steel and just, and you can make it look exactly like it did from the showroom. Would you lose that art, though, that's on the no, side of it? No, you could re- preserve that. You could How preserve. do you preserve the art? You cut that steel out and then repair everything around it and then weld it back in and then they would probably because it, it's called like a patina they would probably just keep that the way it is and, and put a clear coat over it so it didn't get fucked with right le- keep, like that. they would leave the rust on the art on the art itself and they maybe fix everything around it so it's you know that piece is the you know, so the art would still look old but look, everything would be fixed yeah what's more valuable having that in its original form all fucked up but it's the original or the restoration of restoration of it, it. it I, is I, we had a bus i had uh, this company out in uh california a bus showed up at our shop right after um uh what's that sema or um what's that big car fucking show oh, i can't remember any of it i don't know Anyway, you're not dealing with men here. We don't know, know much about so, cars. Yeah. So the car showed up, it bus showed up and the guy had just bought it for $285,000 and it wasn't even like an original bus. It was chopped and lowered and fucking had like m- different wheels on it and and it I mean, it was basically him and another rich guy just like having like a, oh, I want that. Well, I want that. And they both just Why what was so valuable two, about it? It's a 1963 split window Volkswagen bus. Are those really that What's a split window? Is that a split window? No. Uh, type type it in split window, 62 or 63 split window bus right there. Are they just rare? They're they're not rare. They're getting more rare. But if you if you get one of these. Oh. So a shitty one, like uh, f- go scroll down. See that one on the second row right those there? Those are cool, man. <clears throat> that is, that's a, that's a hundred thousand dollar car right there. With the, this red one or the green yeah. one? The green one was probably 30. You, that's, you can get 30 for that. You get a hundred thousand for this? The Volkswagen vans are, I've only been in one or two in my life. Yeah, I've never been in one. Yeah, my buddy used to have one and he would drive his VW. He was beat up back then. What, was he a total days. hippie? Uh, you know what? He did do a lot of drugs. <laughs> 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 that's come to think of it, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Wow, what is that with the fucking, uh, now I could. It's like a side panel, like that's a panel, but they call it a panel van. So it's like. And you put the luggage on the roof. That yeah. is fucking really great. So when so, did you get into like why? why I've always been old in Volkswagen. My first car was a '66 Volkswagen. I I it had it was a hot rod. I had Kregers on it with big tires, and I it was all hot. I was in high school, right out of high school, and I I had this Vol. I drove it for years, and then I had like an off road one, and I've always kind of had been around them. And you then, just like Volkswagens. I just love Volkswagens. Man. And by the way, the front windows open out. Yeah, they're called Safari windows. They open out. You actually can't drive. It'll it'll crack because if you hit a bump, but it, you. You can you can like drive slowly with those open and air go through. That's the downside to this is there's no air conditioning. Oh, none. There, no. Why did I say none? Like there's, you might go. Some. No, just a little no, bit. I know. I just caught uh, myself. You it was a air question. Like there's aftermarket systems. You know what I mean? But like that bus right there is probably two hundred grand. Jesus. That's like the old uh, Wranglers that used to. I mean, and some still do have the hinge on the windshield. So you could actually fold the wind. Did they you have that with the thing? You ever seen a thing? Down. You ever seen a Volkswagen thing? Mm-hmm. It looks oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yes. The, fold, yes. the window folds down if you want to, and and uh, yeah, yes. we we built a couple of those. So right now I'm building a Corvette for myself, a '76 Corvette. Um, but uh, yeah, these. So my shop, they had one that he 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 obtained it. The owner of my shop, uh, Fish, he he obtained it. It was in a house fire. It was a mint condition Volkswagen thing. It looked like that blue one there on the on the bottom. And it was inside a house that caught fire and the house burned to the ground. And then he put it back together. So it's all, the body's all rusted and, and looked burnt. Yeah. But it's all got all new rubber, new motor, new trans, new new tires. And you know, all that old shit. They just took the burnt body and, and fixed everything. And it's fucking awesome. So it looks around. good. Yeah. How much is that worth? Those are actually pricey the Volkswagen I, things yeah they can they can range anywhere from you know eight grand to 25 to, oh they're not that know. much though yeah they're obtainable yeah but okay. I, all i know the about buses cars are becoming unobtainable they're becoming you gotta have bucks as soon as you get one even if it's a rusted out shitty version of it i mean you're looking at putting 10 grand into it just to make it drivable all i know about cars is the three minutes of Jay Leno's Garage that I watch when I turn on CNBC and get pissed off that Shark Tank isn't on. I used to think that being a musician was was cool because 
you you were basically an entity onto yourself. You were responsible to a label and a few other people, but basically you called the shots. But I always really loved stand up comics because they were complete control. Yeah. But you're now you're you're not. Because no. you, it's like everyone has to be afraid of what they're going to say because of the backlash of what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Rob, what are you promoting? Where can people find your stuff? Rob uh, Dukes. Generation Kill Band on Facebook is a, is a good one. And then just Rob Dukes, just follow me. And just making a new record, man. Just doing that shit. All right, we'll Building come cars. back when you finish with it. I will, man. Right on. It's good Thanks. seeing you always. Thanks. And uh, yes. And we, we <laughs> will be back here on Monday. This week, yeah. Yes, we will be back on Monday. Yep. So stay tuned and uh, have a great weekend. Goodbye, everybody.